Hi, I'm North American Fishing Club social media editor Greg Huff. I'm standing on the shore of the Mississippi River between Minneapolis and St. Paul, Minnesota. And as you can see, the river is really high. Now all this water here is spring melt-off coming from up north. Feeder streams like Minnehaha Creek over here fill up with spring melt-off and fill the river, which travels all the way down to Louisiana, where it finally meets the Gulf of Mexico just outside of Venice. Now you likely heard a lot about the Louisiana Gulf Coast a year ago, about this time when BP's Deepwater Horizon oil platform exploded, filling the Gulf Coast with oil. While that story was on the front pages of newspapers across the country and on cable television almost every night for about a month, you haven't really heard a lot about the cleanup efforts down there. And folks in Louisiana wonder if there's a perception that the Gulf and the Delta is just full of oil that you can't fish there anymore. The BP oil disaster damaged Louisiana's image. And for folks from an area long known as the sportsman's paradise, well, they wanted to put that notion to rest. Let the entire nation know that our great state is still the sportsman's paradise. So at the invitation of Louisiana Tourism, North American Fishing Club was invited down to the Gulf Coast to see how the area has bounced back and to see how the fishing is. Hey, have I got news for you. The fishing in the Gulf is wide open and one of the best places to fish in the world is still Louisiana. The fishing's never been better. Go fishing, go support those guys. Go enjoy the best fishing in the whole wide world. You haven't really fished. Fish, fish, until you fish Louisiana. For more information, go to visit louisianacoast.com. And for members of the North American Fishing Club, especially folks like myself who live here in Minnesota or in Michigan or the Dakotas, where we've got ice out conditions all the way through March and into April, traveling down to Louisiana at this time of year, well, that's just what the doctor ordered. In the morning I left for Louisiana, it was 17 degrees here in Minnesota. And when I got there, it was 70 degrees, sunny with a light breeze. Like I said, that's just what the doctor ordered. So let's head down to the Gulf Coast and see if in the wake of the oil spill, it can still live up to its reputation as a sportsman's paradise. In addition to showing us around Grand Isle and Jefferson Parish, our friends in Louisiana tourism took us to Plaquemines Parish, where Venice, Louisiana is located. And they hooked us up with a fishing guide, Captain Chris. Now, I'm not exactly sure that Captain Chris knew that there was a bunch of outdoor riders in his boat sent there by Louisiana tourism because uh, he wasn't exactly the most, shall we say, friendly guy in the world. But he did put us on the fish and it was the first time I ever caught a redfish. And I was told their fight might make me think twice about being a bass man, might turn me into a redfish man. Well, I wasn't so sure, but I was willing to give it a try. Well, I'd done a little bit of research before I got down to Venice, and I heard that a spinner bait was a pretty good redfish lure. So I tied one on and thought I'd give it a shot. We were in the reeds, and I figured it might be a good way to catch one right off the reed edge. And I was right. Caught the first one into the boat. Good job. Hit it when the spinnerbait was falling. As you can see, I was a little excited to catch that first ever redfish, but uh, Captain Chris wasn't uh, quite as excited as I was. In fact, before I could even uh, get a look at the thing, he already had it in the box. Okay, I guess I don't get to see my fish or get a picture with it. <laughs> oh well, I got a picture with it later. Because I had the camera on the tripod and a bunch of camera equipment, I decided to take up residence in the back of the boat where I wouldn't be in anybody's way. There it's just hooked up. Well, I wasn't really in anybody's way, but I also wasn't really in the best position for the fishing when we got out further in the Gulf. At one point, my three fellow fishermen in the boat, Nick from Colorado, Jim from Alabama, and Bob from right there in Plaquemines Parish, all hooked up redfish at the same time. So I set down my pole and picked up the camera and got some pretty sweet footage. Got it. Nice. 
baits. Nick from Colorado had the hot hand on the day, landing about seven or eight redfish and three speckled trout. There's a lot of footage of me casting vainly from the back of the boat, looking over while Nick lands another one. Well, maybe I'll have better luck next time. And there will be a next time. I plan to come back several times. I made a lot of great friends, met a lot of great people, had wonderful food, and the fishing is out of this world. For North American Fishing Club, I'm social media editor Greg Huff. Tight lines, everybody. Way down yonder in the Gulf of Mexico A hurricane was brewing with the wind and the rain Oh, with a mighty blow